Welcome to the L.A. Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey, people, this is Stevie for the L.A. Story. It's getting into summer now, and as we are cruising past Memorial Weekend and starting to look at all the summer fun, what are you going to do this summer? We have lifestyle and beauty expert Amy Goodman on the phone to talk to us and tell us all about the things that we need to know to get us outdoors, but how to do it with fun and be safe, too. Yeah. How are you t today, Amy? I am fantastic with summer on the mind, no doubt. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. And you had mentioned, you know, safety within that um, sentence there, and I'm going to hone in on that because you can have as much fun in the sun as you want as long as safety is a priority. So as the mom of two young kids, I definitely encourage, and this sounds, you know, on a basic level, staying very hydrated, you know, keeping those water bottles and those juice bottles at the ready so that they can grab them and go before they play outside. The next is to really, you know, wear sunscreen religiously throughout the summer. This means you wear it every two hours. You reapply every two hours and right again after swimming. Um, I happen to love Banana Boat. They offer a wide range of products with that UVA, UVB, broad spectrum protection, which is what you are looking for when you're looking for sunscreen. And they have three great new products as well um, that they come out with this summer, which are tailored to families almost, it feels like. Um, an SPF of 110 is the first product. The wow. second, I know, like really, you know, great, great protection. The next is a family size pump. So it's like a lotion, you know, bottle with the pump so that it's very easy for application as you run out the door. And then a tear free and a sting free formula for the kids and babes. Um, when they go out there. I mean, Stevie, this is not a joke when it comes to skin cancer. It's the number one cancer in America. It affects one in five Americans. Um, so that means about, you know, 20% of your followers will be, have been affected by skin cancer in his or her lifetime. So, oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I believe it. Yeah. No, I mean, we were just talking here with the camera guy, Chris, and he was telling me that he's like a poster child for skin cancer. He's already had it, you know. So um, this is really, you know, serious stuff. And one thing that you can do that's really positive, on a positive note, you can go to um, Banana Boat's Facebook page. You can click on their Sun 101 quiz. It takes less than 30 seconds to take the quiz. They donate $1 in your name on your behalf to the Skin Cancer Foundation, a phenomenal organization, and they'll match donations up to $101,000. So, Wow, that's tell, a great deal. It's a great deal. Tell your friends, tell your family, take the quiz multiple times. Um, this is something near and dear to my heart, so you know, get out there and do it, and do something great for the Skin Cancer Foundation. I think that's a good idea. Any suggestions on activities that we can do this summer? Oh, yes, you know, well, something I just did for my daughter, which was a huge hit in the neighborhood, it's called a pool uh, palooza. And what I mean by that is I had a little, you know, I have a little baby pool, but I borrowed some other pools from my friends and a slip and slide and also a sprinkler. We set up at like a water park in our backyard. Uh, for the favors in advance, I got goggles and um, water guns. And I, you know, you use these as favors, but they get to use them right away. I love that as an alternative to like a candy-based favor. And then stacks of towels and hats for people who are watching. Watching. Another great idea is a sports-a-thon. So you transform your backyard into an obstacle course. You divide people up into teams. You can do parents and kids, which is really a different take and twist on it. Using things you have around the house, you can do wagon pools for wagon races. You can do water balloons. You can do, um, you know, the bubble blowing contest to see who can blow it across the yard the fastest. And of course, my favorite is the the great baby race in which if you have really young uh, toddlers in the neighborhood, <laughs> you set up a very close start and finish line so that somebody can indeed finish. You can set up a big billboard and keep score. But these are some creative ideas that don't cost a lot of money, very thrifty, affordable, being creative with the resources you have at the ready. And neither of these ideas do you even have to pull out of the garage really to do. I love it. What's, I mean, it sounds like fun, the baby race. <laughs> I don't even have a little one anymore, but it's like, oh, my goodness, that would right. be hilarious to watch. <laughs> and if you don't have a baby, you could do it with the dogs. I mean, if you're, you know, dogs are, you know, we also have a dog and get all the neighborhood dogs and see who can actually cross the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Amy, if people wanted to get more information and tips from you, where would they find you? You go to the Facebook page for Banana Boat. Don't forget to take the Sun 101 quiz. There's lots of great sun education information and activity ideas for the summer there all summer long, and make it a safe one.
Sounds great. People, this is, we'd like to thank Amy Goodman for her time today. She's given you a wealth of ideas and some really great tips about sunscreen and making sure that you actually stay protected all summer long. And this is not just summer. This is year-round. Mm -hmm. I wear sunblock every single day. No lie, I do. And I even reapply it when Fantastic. I can think about it. Fantastic. Thanks for <laughs> reminding me about that. But we'd like to thank Amy for her time. And this is Stevie for the L.A. Story saying see you soon, people. Bye. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on L.A. Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.